Optology is the science of organization. To exist, org must have interacting activity within it. This interaction is a cycle of projecting and receiving. To be projective is about giving or imposing. To be receptive is about taking or submitting. Literally a give and take. There must be reciprocation for survival. An example can be in communication. When one talks, the other listens. What is the projective part and receptive part in this? Of course, talking is projective and listening is receptive. Duality permeates everything in ontology. Org is a consciousness of two things. The first is its purpose. What is its role within an environment? The second is its intent. What does it want to do with that purpose in the future? To be both purposeful and to achieve its intent, org must do something useful within a sponsoring or supportive environment. To do so, it must perform and at the same time stay relevant. It must offer something consistent, mathematical, and predictable. This will create its receptive activity. It creates rules that it holds within systems to deal with its resources. This will empower repetitive processes defining its efficiency. You do what works well until it is second nature. This frees up energy to focus on changes to be made in org. These changes may be what it must do in order to stand out from similar entities through abstract thought and innovative behavior. This will create its projective activity. This is the random and unpredictable part of org which designs its future. The best tool for negotiating a favorable future is disruptive intelligence. Yet too much disruption will create chaos. To avoid unmanageable chaos, it must stay focused. In so, it creates projects which will negotiate its effectiveness. At the core of studying octology is hypothesis 2x. The 2 in hypothesis 2x shows a study of the duality between the receptive and projective parts of org which must be in equilibrium. The aim of this is to help organizations to be both performing and relevant. This first part is the dual nature of org and the study is called orgamatics. The X in hypothesis 2X shows a study of the disruptive element within org. We call this element the X factor. Abstract thinking drives the X factor. This is the value added by humans to org. It makes org unique. For example, two organizations can run on the same processes with the same resources but produce different results. Why? This is because the human minds within these organizations are unpredictable, diverse, and inconsistent. This is what gives org its competitive advantage or edge. This study is called organomics. A comparison can be made relating octology to Eastern culture in the philosophy of yin and yang. Yin are the receptive elements that are feminine, containing, and nourishing. Yet yang is the projective elements that are masculine, innovative, and aggressive. In practice, operations are receptive while strategy is projective. These are interdependent and must be in balance. In short, octology is about doing things right and also doing the right things.